The guidelines for great photography websites have changed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what you need in your photography website for success in 2024 coming up. The first thing we're going to be talking about is the organization and mainly the landing page for your website. Now, the user experience of your website is exponentially more important than the SEO in 2024. Now, is SEO important? Absolutely, SEO is still important, but there are specific ways that you should be using it, and it's totally different from in the past, and I'll get to that later on in this video. The first thing you need to worry about is the bounce rate on your site. If you're coming to a photography website, you expect to see photos. And when you see photos, lots of them, your mind is basically wired to explore more. So you need to have a lot of variation of photos on your home page when somebody visits that. If you look at my website here, I have about 30 photos that people can scroll through when they're going through on the home page. Now the home page could be your landscape photo gallery, travel photography, it could be any kind of gallery that you want it to be. But the first thing people want to see are those photos. Now this decreases bounce rate on somebody's website and bounce rate is is just the time that somebody spends on your website without clicking through to another page or they're just leaving your website completely and if you have a high bounce rate Google is basically going to bury your website because they're seeing that people aren't having a good experience on your site and they won't recommend you. So having a lot of things that people can look at photo wise when they come to your site is a very good thing. Now you may be asking how many photos should you have on your home page? I would recommend anywhere from 20 to 30 enough to people can explore, but not so much that they're getting so overwhelmed right off the bat. Now for organization of the website, you also don't want to overwhelm people with that as well. I recommend having five to six links up at the top of your page. I have photos, podcasts, courses, about, and contact just as basic pages on there. Now you may be thinking, I need more pages on, than that on my website, and that's true, but you don't have to offer those right up front so that it's so many options that people can't make a decision. You want to direct people down a pathway that they can explore having specific links. Now you can have pages that are buried as I have here. You see if I go to just my website and my pages, I have all these pages that are backlinked in my website, but all you see up top for the navigation are these five things. That allows people to quickly go through those five options and have some information there that they can explore, but those backlinks are there that they can dive deeper within those articles, podcasts, photos, anything like that. Now I would recommend having a page where you can consistently update information. So I have a podcast, you might have a blog, a travel blog, something like that. Maybe you just have a blog where you're posting your videos that you create on your photography. Anything that's being consistently updated on your page is a good thing because Google and other search engines see that as positive and that your page is staying up to date and fresh with new information. Now, if you remember I was talking about that SEO, let's look at that in this section. So if I go to this podcast, I basically have a long description about what's included in this podcast should have photos and other options in here for people to click over and link to. Everything in the body, the title, and in the keywording of creating that page should have SEO, search engine optimization, keywords for that to search for. So for mine, eight surprising photography lessons learned in 2023, that should immediately key keywords to look for those specific topics and recommend those to other people. Now, that's a great way to do it, but if you also go back to your photos, you can click through two photos, and as you upload these, a single image, you can also upload different categories, descriptions, keywords for that photo, titles that would come up in an image search for people. So a photo like this, I would say, sunrise photography in Grand Teton National Park with fog. Something like that would have some nice, image results for Google and allow people to click over from that photo onto my website and get traffic that way. Now there are two more big things that you need to pay attention to in websites for 2024 and that is your about page and your marketing as well. 
So if I click over to my About page, you see that it's long, and it also has some links, some uh, accreditation things that I've been able to do and be featured on for my photography. But the most important thing are close-up images of myself that allow people to make a connection with who I am, what I look like, and my story in photography. So many times I've seen people put up about pages of you know one paragraph and a photo of them where they're off in the distance or they have a silhouette of themselves in a photo. While that's fine to include in an about page, people wanna see who you are, what you look like. So have a plethora of photos, even behind the scenes photos of you taking photos and have those as close as possible so that people can see you. Maybe have links on there of gear that you use so that people can relate to about that. And then some places that you've been featured on. And if you don't have those yet, no worries at all. Those can be included later on in the process. Now, in terms of marketing, you always want to drive people to sign up for your email list on every single page of your website. On this website specifically, I have a link down at the bottom that they can set up their email list with. But I also have a marketing tab in this where I can set up a marketing tool of a promotional pop-up that comes up when somebody wants to leave the page. So if they scroll down to the page and then scroll quickly back up, this pop-up comes up showing them that they can get something in return for that of just them visiting the site. Now on my other site, Landscape Photography University, I have email opt-ins on every single one of those pages to get a free ebook and have people download, you see another pop-up coming up here, download my foolproof foregrounds guide for taking better photos. Hey, if you want that, it's also linked below in the video description for you to check out. That's just allowing people to join your email list and as a thank you, you're giving that to them for free so they can sign up and get something in return. And in return for that, you have their email available to send them valuable information and keep them on your email list so they can be notified of valuable content, fun stuff to keep informed about, and sales that might be going on as well. These are all the strategies that you need in 2024 for your website. Here's more videos that you can use to build your photography business online this year.